Hello, this video is about how to use an events web path in SharePoint Online and how to set it up. I'm Alex from Doc365. Using the web path, you can showcase your events in SharePoint pages easily. Provide all details regarding the events and ensure that users get all data and awareness about the same instantly. Let us see how it can be done effortlessly. Let's start from my SharePoint start page. So I'm going to add the events web part to one of my SharePoint sites called marketing updates. So uh, this is the start page or home page of the site. I have, I have already added a, a SharePoint events um, web part in it. This is it. So we'll just add it in one of, one of the other pages called marketing strategies. This is the marketing strategies page and there is not much content in it. So to add the events web part to it, you just need to move the page to the edit mode first. So click on the edit icon in the top right corner. So now it's in the edit mode, click on the plus icon in any of your sections. So we'll see the message add a new web part. So click on it and from the window that appears, search for events and choose the events web part. Instantly, the events web part will be added to it. First, you need to give it a title. So I'm giving it the title, uh, upcoming marketing events, upcoming marketing events. By default, the web part will catch all the events that are part of this particular SharePoint site. You can, however, change it later. So uh, this is how it looks by default, as I have already added three events to this SharePoint site. So uh, you can give a name and next you can edit the web part. So click on the edit icon here in the left corner of the SharePoint uh, web part. From there, you can choose the source first. Uh, I would like to choose the site for now and you can choose if you are filtering using or you have set up category for each event or list item you can uh, set the category here uh, i don't have any category right now you can also choose the date range there are many options like this week next two weeks this month etc select you can also select a custom date range and there are two layouts available uh, first is the film strip Second is the compact. The one you saw in my uh, home page uh, is the compact one. It will be small. It will be very neat and tidy. The film strip one will be a little more uh, bigger and it will show more data too. So we'll go with the film strip here. You can also decide how much, how many events you wish to show up through this uh, events. So uh, I would like to show only five. So I'm entering five of them. You can also enable audience targeting if required. You can also set, uh, decide whether you want to show event images or not. Uh, images, however, make uh, the web part or the events uh, look more interesting. So uh, these are the changes I want to uh, update. So after uh, making all the changes, you can um, republish the page, click on republish. So the page will be right, uh, live now with all the changes you have made. So this is how it looks. And uh, now let's see how you can add a new event right from the page using the web part option. So click on add event option. So it will take you to a new uh, event page. So you can give a new name first to the event. I will say uh, SharePoint webinar, SharePoint webinar is the name I want to give. You can also set a featured image for this event. So click on the image icon over here. You can either choose any of the image you have, recent images, or you can also choose uh, one from your desktop. Uh, I'm choosing one from the stock images as it is the most easiest uh, thing to do. So let, let us find some a suitable image for this purpose. I would go with this 
uh, yeah, the clock image will be interesting. So I'm choosing this image. You can adjust the focal image, focal point. If desired, it it can make this look even better. And the next thing is you want to set when is this event happening. So set the date and time. I will go with the default date and time here. And you can enter where this event is happening. Uh, we will choose Jacksonville. And you can also provide a link here, link address. If you have a landing page or something, you can choose to enter the link here. I'm entering the link of one of our upcoming webinars, SharePoint webinars. So I'm putting it there. Uh, you can also change the change the display name. I would like to make it as register now. Again, there is the option for a category. I'll make it business. And you can enter a description here. I would like to just mark SharePoint webinar upcoming. And last, you may want to add someone to this uh, event. Maybe uh, the speakers in this event, the hosts or the people who are arranging this event. Anyone can be added to this. Uh, event so that uh, people users in your organization will know uh, the most important people who are behind this uh, event you can only add people who are part of your organization in this list however um, that's still okay and after making all the changes just click on save so the events will be created and updated so let's see uh, whether it's updated and shown here yeah here it is in the sharepoint webinar so uh, that's how uh, new events can be added yeah and if you wish to edit uh, your any of your events you can just click on the uh, events from the web part and you will be taken to the dedicated page you have set up. Click on edit here. So you can now edit all the options, including the image, the title, event title, the date, the link. Everything can be uh, edited from this page. After making the changes, just click on save and the event will be uh, updated. You can also choose to delete the event if you wish there's a delete option the plus new option will instantly allow you to add new events too that's another way to do it so uh, these are some of the easiest ways to add events to your sharepoint pages I hope you understood the possibilities and opportunities put forward by the SharePoint Online events web part clearly. See you in our next video. Have a great day.